Welcome back to Teddy Bruski's Charity Golf Tournament at TPC Boston, where everyone is having fun and helping to raise money for Spalding Rehab. Oh! Nice ball. Oh, I just pushed a little. Everyone is here to help the cause, but there is one foursome that has some very personal reasons for taking part. We are sponsoring a foursome here for this tournament. Uh, we work closely with Spalding Rehab for the amputees that we take care of and wanted to show them some support for them raising money uh, for their organization. So we put a team together of uh, somebody that works for us at Next Step and two of our patients that we make artificial limbs for. Oh, nice shot. Spalding Rehab is one of the leading rehab facilities in the world and do a fantastic job taking care of people after they have had an amputation. The best golfer in this group is Boston bombing survivor and former Spalding patient, J.P. Norton. You know, it's not the first time they've seen, you know, an amputation. And so, like, they guided us through a lot. Them, the military, they just knew everything. They, they told you what to expect, what was going to happen, what to do if you had this problem or that problem. So. You know, they were a huge help for us. Ready, JP? Yeah. They provided clubs for us, anybody that wanted them, if they played. So they, they uh, them and Golfsmith gave us some clubs. And, you know, they, they same thing. In the rehab, they had people come there, show us how to swing on, show us how to, you know, transfer your weight and do all that. So, you know, I love golfing and they helped me out good, so. These are very good golfers. Uh, the fact that they're missing a limb is more of an inconvenience than a disability, and that's kind of why. That is really one of the points of bringing them out here for everybody else. You know, no matter what your disability is, you can overcome it. There's technology, there's expertise, there's people that care, there's institutions, there's resources there for you to get your life back. With amazing new prosthetics and therapies, Spalding has been able to help many patients suffering from traumatic amputations return to full and active lives. Now, new technology is offering hope for people with paralysis. Try to be a little more upright. Meet Corey Cook and his robotic exoskeleton, the Rewalker. Corey was paralyzed from the chest down in an accident. Today, thanks to the Rewalk company's incredible new technology, his own hard work, and some intensive therapy at Spalding, he is doing what was once thought impossible. He's walking. I transfer into it, I sort of strap it to the outside of my legs, and then we stand up, and as I lean to the left and I lean forward and I hit certain set points, my right leg gets unweighted and it steps. And so then I lean to the left and forward, and then the left leg steps. As soon as I hit those set points, it goes through that motion whether I'm ready for it or not. It, it does everything from, from sort of my chest lying down. You know, it helps regulate my blood pressure, it helps regulate my spasms, it helps regulate, you know, bladder control, bone density, all that stuff is based on standing and just weight bearing. It's amazing to be able to talk to somebody on their level as opposed to them talking to me on my level. You know, I can look at them in the eyes again as I'm talking to them. Um, and just to be mobile in a vertical position, it's just, Outstanding. Things are winding down out on the links here at TPC Boston, but the fun is far from over. After 18 beautiful holes, it's time for a cold drink, some impressive auction items, and a great meal. Another successful tournament is in the books, but as Teddy and all the participants know, this day is about a lot more than a great round of golf with friends. It's very rewarding to see the, the people who, many of them who have come year after year. And that really, I mean, part of what's rewarding is just see that commitment to the hospital. People are doing something that's fun, but it's, it's, uh, it's great to, to see uh, people year after year uh, who you can consider friends.
Anyone that's here can really be sitting in this chair right now and tell you how special Spalding is because it's either um, they know the mission, they respect the mission, they support the mission, or they're direct beneficiaries of the mission. They know, pe know people that are success stories out of Spalding and they've, or they've just with their own eyes seen the great work that they do. So everyone here has a connection to Spalding and they know the great work that it does. Thank you very much.